to the channel man welcome back to the channel today's video I got we got another youtuber who was arrested for street racing now I made several videos talking about this um, the police don't care they will pull you over they will follow you if you on YouTube making racing videos some of these young cats don't really mean no harm but you got to understand that people are really tired of these Hellcats and scat packs um, They'll make up anything to pull you over, pull you over for the tent, pull you over for your exhaust, um, doing burnouts. So if you out there doing that stuff, then you posting on YouTube, they're going to come get you. Where is he at? He's got warrants, and the warrants return to this address, so. Okay, well, well warrants return to this address, so we're going to come in with you, all right? Okay. You got any weapons or anything on there? Okay. I mean, I don't know how many times I done said this or how many videos I done made about this, and there's multiple videos on YouTube showing people being arrested for street racing and posting on youtube um like, like i said those takeover videos and you know you always got you're doing 110 120 on the highway um, weaving through traffic okay, yeah, that 130 man it's by my wild ain't no way man they watching this stuff, man. You could not get away with it. And I only know how many times I got to say it or how many ways I got to say it. Um, it's hard to get views on YouTube um, just posting regular videos. I understand they probably liking the money they making, um, getting the views. And what you got to understand is the people that's watching this stuff, they don't care about you getting arrested. They don't care about you crashing and killing yourself. What happens when you're not responsible for having one of these cars? hurting the family they don't care they just watching it because it's entertaining but you gotta understand you're gonna lose your license you're gonna might possibly catch a charge and then you're done and they going on about their life so it's not worth it man i'm trying to tell you young guys just chill out bro you know what i'm saying i know social media right now is what's in but man y'all gotta relax they cracking down man especially in atlanta because that's hellcat sky pack city you know what i'm saying they not too crazy about that stuff here in uh, D.C. and Maryland, Virginia, but I know in Atlanta, I mean, Hellcats and Scats, RTs, that's that's their life down there. Everybody got a Hellcat in Atlanta, but um, it, it's sad to see, man, because I actually watched the Young Boy channel. I mean, he got he got a good channel, but uh, that street racing stuff, man, is um, even if you're not even street racing, just being associated with people that's doing it, and once they put a target on you. Like he said in his video, they gonna follow you. I will be limiting what I post for real. I am tired of being basically harassed over things that I didn't even do and things that they are trying to say I did. They gonna harass you and there's nothing you can do about it. So my advice, don't do it. And if you was doing it, take it off your channel. They probably ain't tripping if you just doing a little pull, but if you're doing 120, 130 on the highway, they're coming to get you. And unfortunately, man, it makes everybody look bad. Everybody that own a Hellcat or a Scat Pack, you know, they, they figure we all up to no good. And it's unfortunate. And that's one of the reasons why um, I decided to get a 300, because they kind of not on the radar as much. But now with these SRT, Hellcat 300s, they're being targeted as well. And um, it's unfortunate, but it wouldn't be so bad if people weren't so reckless. Look at this guy. 
and they wonder why the police look at us crazy. Now this is probably turning into a high speed chase. Look at, look at this guy, man. I think I have a pair 300, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can understand having fun, but that's just too much. That's the problem. Y'all too reckless, man. You want to get the views. You want, you know, make a name for yourself. And I get it. But there's a way to do things. You can go to the track or find some empty lot to do your videos. And don't post it on YouTube if you are cutting up in traffic. You got to cut it out. It's, it, you can't do it. Can't do it. I don't know how many times I got to say it. Um, but it's unfortunate. I hope it works out for them. Um, I don't wish nothing bad on none of these guys. I understand, man. No cars are fun. It's cool making content. And I get it. They're built for that. But we cannot do it and post it on YouTube because they won't lock you up. So, I just wanted to put this out there, man, for y'all young cats, especially the ones that's following me uh, and haven't even got one yet. And uh, you may be um, wanting to post racing videos, just do it on the track. That's all I'm going to tell you. Might not get as many views, but it's not worth it in the end. I'm trying to tell you. Because you're not going to always be young. That's what you guys got to understand. You're going to be a grown man. And now you're trying to fix things you did when you were young. Losing your license, you got these charges. I don't know how they charge me with all this over old YouTube videos. So like I said, if you were in Atlanta or if you was recording car content, I would make sure you know what you're posting. That's 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 what it is. Make sure you know what you're posting. And if you're going to do in Atlanta, if you want a name for yourself, do not do it. Because once you become, like once you have enough, I would say, clout, they're going to stalk you. They're going to follow you. They're going to issue warrants. They're going to do everything they can to stop what you got going on. Um. So that is my tip of the day. Now you can't get a car. You can't get a license to get to work and all that kind of stuff. So just be smart and um, stop the street racing. If you're new to my channel, man, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one.